Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to build upon what we did in the last section in arc length, and we're going to use that information to cover the topic of uh, what is known as the area of a surface of revolution. It's a big, long title. It's a simple concept. All it means is, let's say you have, and I'm going to draw it here in a second, but just, just, just uh, to, to use our heads here for just a second. Let's say you had a function, right, that's floating right out in front of you and me. Some function that's a squiggly line or could be any shape, but a squiggly line, okay? Now let's say we wanted to form a three-dimensional shape with that shape as the boundary. So all we would do is if this is your xy axis here, we would take this guy and we would rotate it all the way around the uh, x-axis. We would take it and we would rotate it all the way around and that would form a three-dimensional vase or a, or, a, or a container of some sort, right? And let's say we wanted to find the surface area of that, okay? The actual area all along the outside. Now uh, let me let you pause right there and tell you that that's what this section is about. We're trying to find the area of, of shapes that have been revolved or functions that have been revolved around an axis. So they're all going to be symmetrical. They're all going to look, you know, they're all going to look very symmetrical, uh, but we need to have a bulletproof way to do that. Now before I get to the board and show you how we're going to do that, let's take a quick, quick breather and look back to what you already know. Take a roll of uh, paper towels or some other cylinder, okay? It's this long and it's around. So that is the simplest surface of revolution you can have because you just take a line and you revolve it around the x-axis. You get a cylinder, okay? So how do you know, how do you uh, take the uh, uh, surface area of a cylinder? Well, you, you should know back from your geometry and your algebra that the, the uh, surface area of that guy is if you were to take, if this is the paper towel uh, tube, if you were to look at the circumference around the end of that tube, okay, that's going to be a length all the way around the end, right? And if you take that and you multiply it by the length of the paper towel tube, okay, uh, then you're going to get the surface area. So what area is, is it's looking in one dimension, which is this kind of circular dimension over here, the length of it, not the area of it, the length of it, okay, uh, here. And then you multiply by the length of the tube, and so you're taking that circumference and you're adding up basically all, of, all along the length here, and that's the surface area of the whole thing. That is the simplest thing conceptually what we're going to do. We're going to apply that technique, exactly what I just told you, looking at the circumference and then multiplying by the length to find the surface area of any arbitrary shape that's been rotated around. So, so let's do that here. Backing up a little bit, let's say here is my coordinate system x and y okay now I've got some arbitrary shape uh, that I want to find the surface area of looks like this this is a this is a arc length okay we've already talked about arc length it stop, starts right here and it stops exactly right here now let's say I were to take this shape and I'm gonna rotate it through the board and make a three-dimensional shape and I'm gonna rotate this all the way around the x-axis so it's gonna be kind of a vase looking thing okay so when I do that what I'm going to have is I'm going to end up with a shape that looks like this. Okay? So I'm going to have something that looks like this. Right? And it's going to kind of come in like this. I'm just kind of drawing the end here all the way up. So this is a little extra down here. Okay? So that's basically what it's going to look like. You're going to have a, a bottom and you're going to have a top. It's going to have some flat surfaces here. But all along here, this is the area that I'm wanting to find. The area all the way around here like this. Okay? Now, don't forget that this function, it is in fact a function. So this is f of x. This thing right here, this, this, this segment, this arc length is governed by a function. Okay? So uh, the surface area is what we want to we wanna look at. And if we wanted to find, just as, if, uh, as in the analogy with the paper towel tube, if I want to find the circumference